Let's talk briefly about first generation versus, versus second generation baits very quickly. First Strike, manufactured by Life Attack, is our bait of choice. However, it is a second generation bait and there are certain uh, legislations associated with second generation bait. First generation baits are the baits that became popular in the 60s, 70s, 80s. They're um, a common active ingredients that only stay generally for uh, 20 to 30 days inside the bloodstream of an animal. They're not as effective. Oftentimes first generation baits need to be consumed for two or three days in a row. Many of our JT Eaton baits with, I believe, uh, bromodialone are first generation baits, okay? Brotophyacum, if I'm not mistaken, is also. I will look into that. But either way, our JT Eaton baits are generally first generation baits. Now, they are very effective baits, but the rats have to come in for two or three days in a row in order to really consume a lethal dose. Now, the reason why first generation baits are good, for lack of a better term, is because uh, it's hard to get secondary poisoning. If an owl eats a rodent that has consumed a first generation bait, it most likely will not die because that bait will only be able to stay in its bloodstream for about 22 days, okay? If an eagle eats a rodent that has consumed uh, some of our JT Eaton bait, or if a fox eats a uh, rodent that has consumed some of the first generation baits, it's not really a big deal. The uh, second generation baits they pack much more of a punch, okay? They're a lot more effective, they hit harder, they kill faster. Um, however, everything comes at a price. And one of the prices that uh, difethylone has is that it stays in the system of a fox, of a bat, of a red-tailed hawk, sorry, not a bat, uh, a fox, a uh, red-tailed hawk, or an eagle or a barn owl um, for a lot longer, uh, sometimes to the tune of 100 to 200 days, which can be three to five times as long as the first generation baits. So uh, in California, second generation baits are legal and they're the most effective thing to be used in residences. However, in uh, small occasions, uh, few and far between, you will be requested to use first generation baits only. For example, in homes that directly border the Griffith Observatory, uh, they've sent a request out that uh, you only use first generation baits if at all necessary um, and that you don't use second generation baits. Um, also, if you ever suspect that there is uh, an excess of wildlife around and you don't want to mess with the ecosystem, it might be better to switch to a first generation bait. But by and large, for 99% of the residential rodent control that we uh, complete and we engage in, you're going to want to make sure that you use uh, Life Attack's First Strike, which is a second generation bait. Got any questions, give me a call.